Hey there, entrepreneurs. I'm Emily Raquette, coming to you live from Business Boutique in Nashville, where more than 3,000 female entrepreneurs have come together this weekend to learn, to be inspired, and to make a difference in their businesses and in the lives of those that they're touching and serving. So I have three incredibly inspiring women entrepreneurs here with me right now to chat with you live for the next 15 minutes. So stick with us and please give this a share to boost it to all of your your entrepreneurs in your circles and uh, we're gonna get started first I want to tell you that we have the creator of business boutique herself Christy Wright joining me hello and also two of these great main stage speakers the lineup here is incredible we have Nicole Walters and Amy Porterfield <laughs> all right so we're gonna get started with you first Christy yes. uh, congratulations on your fourth business boutique thank you it yes. is the energy here this weekend it's just kicked off so strong what inspired you to create business boutique well, it's interesting because I was raised by two entrepreneurs and my mom specifically, she started a cake shop when I was six months old to raise and support me. So for her, her story is really one of survival and watching her not only build a business and impact you know, the, her community and just really make a difference, uh, it really changed me. And so she didn't teach me work ethic and character and, and integrity. She lived it. And as a result, I live it as well. And so I think there's something very powerful about being raised by a, a businesswoman that is stepping into her God-given gifts. And that's encouraged me to step into my God-given gifts doing this, uh, which is really helping other women do the same exact thing. And I'm so inspired by the ideas represented here, not only in the 3,000 women like you talked about, but just the, the unbelievable creativity and gifts that women have, and they bring it to the marketplace. And we have unique gifts and talents and, and uh, experiences and stories that we can bring to the market. And I think that the business boutique is such an opportunity to give them the business side of things. Because the number one thing I saw in my research is that while many women are talented, they say, I don't have a business background or I'm not business minded. And they feel like that disqualifies them from running a business and that's not the case at all. So we give them the plan, we give them the tools and set them free to go do the thing and win in business. Yeah, tell me a little bit about what they're going to experience here this weekend and what they're already experiencing today. Sure, absolutely. So I did research for several years on women with businesses at all stages, all the way from the women that are dreamers and they think, I wanna do something but I don't know what, all the way through women that are running successful businesses, maybe have seven figures, they've got multiple team members or multiple storefronts. And what's interesting is, in my research, I found five main themes that women struggle with. They struggle with having a plan. We go out there and kind of make it up as we go. So they don't have a step-by-step -step plan to get there and reach their goals. Uh, they struggle with money. We struggle with pricing, paying ourselves. We feel guilty and awkward. We undercharge, we undervalue. So the money's a big issue in business. Uh, the legal side of things. So business licenses, taxes, all the boring stuff that most of us don't get into business for. Uh, unless you're an accountant and that's your gifting. Most of us you know, really struggle with the business side of things. And so we really tackle that. Marketing and selling. We want to really cover this topic because we need to market our business to be successful. We need to sell, but most of us are overwhelmed, overwhelmed by sales. We feel like, oh, I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to be aggressive. I don't know how to communicate about my product and not feel bad about it. Uh, and then, of course, as women, life balance. Uh, how do we do it all? How do we ha wear these different hats and, and have a family and have a life at the same time while growing our business? So those five issues are what kind of birthed the business boutique. And we cover all of those aspects from the moment you walk in to the moment you leave tomorrow night. And that's why we have Amy and Nicole for experts in social media marketing, expert in sales. And we cover all these different areas to make sure women leave here and they have what they need to win and make their dream a reality. And you mentioned the life balance. Congratulations, you are Thank a mom you. again. <laughs> Thank you, yes. This is technically your maternity leave. It is, it's kind Rock of weird. Star. <laughs> no, no, no. What advice do you have for mompreneurs watching? Well, I would just say this. I have, I'll have a lot to say about this. <laughs> no, I'll boil it down to just a couple pieces of encouragement. Um, it's not perfect. It's messy, and that's okay. Uh, whenever you look at people's Facebook feed and everybody seems to have it together, they don't. That's not reality. We know that it's a struggle. And we're back here. If you're just joining us, we are live from Business Boutique in Nashville. We are talking with the creator, Christy Wright, and we have two of the main stage speakers here. So I'm going to jump right in. When it comes to running a profitable business, let's admit, it really comes down to sales. So Nicole Walters, you are here this weekend and you are taking the fear out of selling. Yes, absolutely. I think too many people think of sales as being something sleazy or slimy or it's just uncomfortable to do when in reality, if you have the passion behind what you're doing and you know that you're serving a solution that people need and it's going to impact them, it becomes comfortable and natural to talk about it. As a matter of fact, you do it every day. So that's one of the things that's most exciting for me is I realize that if I can just bring this mindset and reframe people's thinking that it really is possible. Just remember that 
you are passionate about what it is you have to offer. It's probably changed your life. So tap into that. Remember that you have a story behind what you do and share that with other people. They're going to be inspired when they see how much you love your product and that's going to make them want to work with you. So be fearless, get out there because it's possible you can do it. If you are in business and you're on social media, then you've got to be following Amy mm -hmm. Porterfield, of course. Uh, Amy, tell me a little bit about, uh, you'll be talking social media here. Yes. You came back to Business Boutique this year. You don't do a lot of speaking events. Why yeah. are you back? <laughs> I feel that this is a stage that you have access to these women that are doing amazing things. And I feel that they need to hear more that they're worth it, that they have amazing skills, and there's no better time than right now to start your own business. And so everyone on stage is giving these tools and insights and strategies for everything you need to know to contribute to your family. And I remember when I was growing up, my dad always said, find a way to be your own boss. And he was a blue collar worker, he always had a boss, but for some reason for his daughter, he wanted me to find a way to be my own boss. And when I did, everything changed. So before we wrap things up, um, Christy, I want to have you all just, what is your parting uh, piece of advice for female entrepreneurs that are watching either want to really start a business or they want to take their business to the next level? Absolutely. I would just say, I kind of talked about this earlier about being business oriented, but I would just say, you can do this. You don't have to have a business background to go out and win. You don't have to have a ton of startup uh, funding to win. Amy and I have talked about this before, but you can go out and start a business tomorrow with nothing more than your idea and a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Like You can do this thing, and the most successful entrepreneurs I've found are not those that have the highest level education or have the most money or investors or anything like that. It's those that are scrappy and they're mm -hmm. determined to go out there and be persistent and win. And so if, you, if you're really committed, if you want it bad enough and you're willing to work hard enough, you can win. All right, and what about you, Amy? I think that it comes down to surrounding yourself with people that are going to build you up, inspire you to keep moving forward, and making sure that you do what you're put on this earth to do. So having the right mentors, the right family members around you, the right friends, I think that makes a huge difference. And that's why I think this event's so great, because the networking is over the top valuable. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, Nicole? And my last piece would definitely be that keep service at the heart of everything mm -hmm. you do. If you ever feel like things are overwhelming or you're not sure if your launch is going to work out or you're wondering whether or not a product's really going to serve your audience, that's going to be the thing that you need to hone in on. You're going to have the right answers. Ask, listen to your people, give them what they need, and it's always going to sell and you will find success. And I do have to say, this is so exciting to be here at Business Boutique. If people want to get involved and they want to be part of this community, how can they? Businessboutique.com. They've got everything that can walk you through getting plugged in with our tools and resources, but certainly the community that Amy talked about. Uh, Christy, you made a very exciting announcement yes. here today. Yes. And we can get involved in another way that's quite easy. There's going to be something exciting hitting uh, stands in the spring. Yes, April. It's going to be the first ever Business Boutique book. And so we are taking all of the research, my stories, experiences, and background um, uh, and really, we've boiled down to this awesome handbook that gives you everything you need to start, run, or grow your business, especially for a female approach. And like I said, we have unique challenges and opportunities. And so I'm really excited because there's been so much heart poured into these pages. And uh, today's the first time that we've offered it for pre-sale. So very excited about that coming out. That is so exciting. Congratulations to you Thank again. You. This is such Thank a great you. event. And real quick, Amy, where can we find you? amyporterfield.com. Simple as that. And of course, your yeah. podcast. Both yes. of you have yes. great podcasts. Mm -hmm. And Nicole? Well, you can find me on Periscope at Natural Nicole, and I broadcast live. I show the behind the scenes, nitty gritty, difficult entrepreneur life. But you can also find out more about like my products and my offerings and how we can work together at NicoleWalters.tv. All right. Thank you all so much. And with that, we're going to leave it. Please give this a share. And if you want to follow along with all the excitement here at Business Boutique in Nashville, all you have to do is search the hashtag Business Boutique.